Hi, and welcome to the intermediate tutorial for Sketchable. Let's go ahead and open the application. These are the journals. Simply click to enter page selection mode. And today we are going to import an image. All you have to do is click this icon and you can import an image onto a blank page. When you click the import icon, an explorer window will open. You can simply find your image, click open and import your image. As you can see, the image is not the right size, but you can simply edit the image or resize it once you go into image editing mode. You can also click the free dot icon in the upper corner here and enter the journal thumbnail navigation. From here, you can rearrange the page order if you'd like before you enter editing mode, if you feel the need to. And now you can go ahead and enter page editing mode. Simply pinch to zoom and make your image larger or smaller as needed. Now we could use the transform tool simply to resize the image, but I'm actually going to open the layers palette and fill in the rest of that background. You can create new layers using the plus icon here at the bottom of the layers palette. Let's create several new layers. As you can see, new layers are created at the top of the palette. So we can quickly rearrange the shark layer by simply holding and dragging the layer to wherever we want it to be. If you'd like to delete a layer, simply select it and click on the trash icon. In the upper right hand corner of the layers palette, you'll find the resize icon, which helps you switch between the traditional layers palette and the smaller layers palette. Very useful if you need to conserve screen space. Now we're going to edit the artwork. Let's start by selecting the tortillion tool, otherwise known as the smudge tool. Click and hold the tool for the stroke preview and the icon on the far right will open up the brush settings. Sketchable's brush engine is amazingly powerful and offers a lot of options for you to edit, meaning that you can create a lot of new brushes yourself, but also to change and manipulate the brushes which already exist in Sketchable. I am editing the tortillion to replicate the ocean background that you can see so that we can widen the background here. You can see that the stroke preview box is being updated live as I edit each of the options in the brush settings. Of course, you can import and export brushes, but we'll come back to that later on. For right now, let's get on and do a little drawing.
the lasso tool can quickly be chosen from the side menu amongst other selection tools. This is a great way to edit your art and even experiment with composition. Once the area is selected, you can even transform the object by dragging the corners to edit the size and rotate your elements as well. You can even choose to move your objects around on the page. Once you've done, you can press commit via the top bar or even choose from some additional functions. And of course, you can always click that undo button in the bottom left hand corner if you're not happy as well. Another option is to select an area and then use this icon here to flip the area as well. Obviously using the Tortillion tool to blend the areas around once you've done. Now once you're done with your artwork and you think it looks great, you can export it using the icon in the upper corner of the window. Click File, Export, and then Page. Then all you have to do is name your file and pick the file format that you'd most like. Here you can pick Photoshop PSD as well as JPEG and PNG. Click save and you're all done. Then you are free to hit the book icon and return to your journal to edit and create more artwork. You can also export your page from here as well with this icon, but you won't be able to export your page as a PSD file from here. That's it for the intermedial tutorial on Sketchable. I hope that all made sense. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. I've been your host, Lawrence Mann, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.